Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Tag Force. It's me, Cooper, and it is time for Tag Duel Sunday. We're going to be having a strange Sunday since we are using a strange deck. I wonder how we're going to do. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look. Let's take a look at our relationships. I'd like to know how people feel about me. Um, Jaden seems to be cool with me. Cyrus seems to be getting there. Chumley seems to be no. Alexis is cool with me. Chaz needs some work. Bastion, ugh. And Zane seems to be cool with me. All right, see, I got a lot of friends. I got friends, and that matters. But for now, let's go ahead and get into the duels. Now, the problem with this Tag Duel Sunday is I am using a deck that I would not recommend using with an, you know, an AI partner. But I don't care. <laughs> if we lose it, look, the only thing that happens is that we don't make money for Mega Pack Monday. So let's just do our best and try to make money for Mega Pack Monday. Here, to start out, I haven't fought these guys in forever. Let's fight some Slifer Red students that we can actually fight and get some practice in before we have to suffer. Just some basic Slifer Reds. I typically don't fight them because they're not worth the money, but, uh, you know. Ultimate XYZ and Star of the Silver Screen are not exactly synergizing decks. In fact, I'd say they have no synergy. Except for that Fusion Gate. That does work. <laughs> that card works. Now you just need to set Warrior Lady to get Blade Skater, and you refuse. <laughs> and you refuse to do so. Your opponent, uh, oh god, Spell Absorption. That's going to be annoying. Maiden of the Moonlight in attack mode? Are we getting baited? Whoa, whoa, whoa. At this time of day, you're going to try baiting? I don't know if you got the stomach for it, kid. You know what? I'll hold off. I don't need to use any of these at all. I mean, I could set the traps, but I, I don't need any of this other stuff. Don't worry. I'll keep your command knight safe. I'll fall for the bait. You, you just stand there. Yep, exactly. I fall for the bait, and you stand there and look pretty, command knight. Now, I'll get rid of the maiden, and you dive on in. So, we've done as much as we can. We actually did do a point of damage, so I'm proud of myself. A whole hundred points of damage by the end of my turn. Terrence, on the other hand, he loves Fusion Gate. Let's see if he uses it. No, okay. Do you have, uh... Oh, good, I love Respect Play. I think a Toily Cyber's worth. Yeah, yeah, direct attacks, gets buffed right now. It's actually really good. Sonic Duck almost was strong enough to stop us, but thanks to my Dunames, they couldn't. And we have a 2100 attack point monster, thanks to her effect. Beautiful. Only when we attack directly. It's like Super Robo Lady, but instead it's called the Toile Cyber. That's not how you pronounce it, but who cares? Oh, they have Nimble Momonga, but instead they use Dunames, which can be stopped with her Saku. Dunames would have been good. I give you credit for that. It would have been good. But the duel is over. I draw... Oh man. Huh. I guess I didn't need another monster. I attack with a Toile Cyber. And then... No, we're not done yet. Don't you dare think we're done. And then, to end this duel, I attack with Dunames, the Dark Witch. Oh, wait, no, I need everybody. Every, all hands on deck. Everybody gets to fight. Command Knight, go chop them down. You are the card that won us this duel, after all. And that is the end of a Slifer Red duel, which is why we only get 200 bucks, which is not worth it for a tag duel. Tag duels need to be at least 300 bucks. Minimum. So, speaking of $300, I know some students that can get us 300 now, these guys have defeated us in a tag duel before. I lost to Jaden teamed up with Chumley. It's actually a horrifying combo, because for some reason, on Tag Duel Sunday, Chumley is addicted to Master of Oz. I don't know what it is, but like his luck stack goes way up for Master of Oz. Oh crap, it's him. I was kind of hoping for Cyrus. Kind of hoping. Chumley is the only one of these three that I fear. Like, I'm a little afraid of Jaden's back row, but I'm not afraid of Jaden. Good, she set Warrior Lady for once. Okay, so all you have to do is search a Toily Cyber or Rota a Toily Cyber. You, you could get Cyber Blader at any time if you use two points of your brain power. Two points of brain power is all I ask. It's not much of an ask if you ask me. I'm using the word ask a lot. I'm going to keep doing so. It sounds funny. Um, I'm actually going to go with Kaiba Man. I don't mind because I might be able to pull it off. I'm going to go and summon Senju. Senju is going to... No, I'm not forcing back myself. What are you thinking? Senju's going to go ahead and get me my Paladin of White Dragon, which I love to use. It's a really fun card. Uh, even for just its first effect and not even its special summon effect. 
This is probably Clayman. I probably can't beat this, but we might as well. Nope, it was Avion. Look at that. Value. And we kept Warrior Lady a secret, so we're in a pretty good spot. All right, Chumpster, what you got? The forest. Yeah, that could be a problem. My warriors do not uh, do good in the forest. My dragons neither. All you have to do is Rhoda, and you have it. All you have to do is Rhoda. You have Polly in your hand, and you got rid of their freaking MST for us. All right, she refuses. I tried, though. No, it's probably Desk Kangaroo. You do not... Oh, no, it would be in attack mode. Boobonic... No! Castle walls! I can't believe it. We're being stopped by a castle walls. That's embarrassing. I told you Chumley was the real duelist. The rest of these guys are jokes. Now, you do not want to leave them with a tribute... Or two tributes, but even one is a problem, because then they might get Necroid Shaman. And Necroid Shaman could be a problem in the late game. Or not Necro Shaman, Necro Shade, and then, you know, Necro Shaman's the fusion. Whatever. Who cares? Uh, X Head Cannon is really good. Dunamis is really good. Um, if I had to choose, I'm going with X Head. Yeah, X Head Cannon will do the job. No, I'm tr stop trying to force back my own cards, please. Uh, one of these is Bubonic Vermin. I forgot which one was which, though. Uh, Warrior Lady, was it this guy on the right? It was. Okay, good. We have defeated Bubonic Vermin. Now, I probably can beat this card. Ah, okay, Saku. Yep. I probably could beat this card, so let's just attack. Oh, he wasted Saku. <laughs> Thank God. He wasted it. Foolish Burial is really good. Why Dragon Head? Okay, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, ho, ho, ho! I'm ending this duel. You think I'm joking. I'm ending this goddamn duel. Oh, it's so over. You can get all the cards in the world. I will not care. Do not care. D you didn't hear me. I don't care. You don't matter. D don't you get it, Jaden? Don't you get it? I act... Well, hold up. Main phase two. I could just attack with X-Head, but what we're going to do instead is we're going to go into this. We are going to get X-Head Cannon. And it's time for me to pull off the XYZ fusion, everybody. It's time. Oh, I forgot to put the fusion card in this deck. Oh, crap. I'm going to forget every single time, too. We pulled one last episode. I summon XYZ Dragon Cannon. And before I start popping, we don't need Force Back that badly. We're going to go ahead and Heavy Storm. Yup. And now we begin the Onslaught. All right. Cards we do not need. Don't need you. Let's destroy Sparkster. Don't need Dunames. Yeah. Let's destroy you. And I don't need... I don't even need my Ritual, if we're being real. Alright. And you know what? I'm going to leave you a present, Alexis. This is from your old pal, Cooper. Uh, normally, I'd go for Blue Eyes. Anybody would. But we're actually going to go a little bit safer. And I'm going to get her a monster to stop trap cards. That way we don't get, you know, screwed over. Because she doesn't feel like popping the back row. But normally, I would just pick Blue Eyes, you know, easily. But it's fine. This works. Yeah, have fun, kids. <laughs> have fun, Jaden and freaking Chumley. What are you going to do now? That's right, you're going to set. You're damn right you are. All right, please use your cards and pop. Yes. Okay. One more. Get rid of Polly. Yes. Play Rhoda. Damn it. <laughs> you have, we need to do so much damage. Play Rhoda for crying out loud. Play premature. I don't care. Do damage. We have game if you just play with him. You Rhoda Command Knight summon Blade Skater. We win. But you just don't get it. Oh, and he gave up. Yeah, that's about right. All right. Well, we won either way. I knew uh, going for the Jinza would work. Now, I'm hoping to draw Blue Eyes. I did not draw blue eyes, so it's fine. Let's just play Freed, just for fun. Uh, we're going to win with our awesome fusion monster. I wish it had an animation, because this card is so freaking cool. Like, look at it. Look at it. Get wrecked. Jaden Yuki is done for. So is Chumley. I love Jaden. Season 1 Jaden is such a nice guy. Plus his deck is really cool. Way better than the Neo stuff. Okay, Alexis. You don't have to be that rude to them. Come on. Come on. They they tried. They didn't see the XYZ coming. 
It was a little cruel of me to go XYZ on them. Alright, I don't like fighting these two people, but I'm gonna fight them. Just because we haven't fought them in a while. Deluge. Koopa. Wish me luck, everybody. Wish me luck. I need to be the ultimate duelist right now. I already got no I already got XYZ. Now I want the ultimate. And then we did our entire deck. Okay, she has Polly. She has double command knight, yes. It's actually better set, but you know what? You might have something to save us. Okay. Mmm, TT. I feel it. They even started me with Kaiba Man to bait me. Wow. Actually, no, I just get to pull it off. Giant True Nate to protect ourselves. Pato Greed to show you my power. God cards are everywhere. I'm literally getting the best things ever. Literally. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw away the Jinzo. I'm going to summon the Kaiba Man, who does get buffed as he is a warrior. I'm going to activate the Kaiba Man. And with my Kaiba Man, I'm going to summon the Blue Eyes White Dragon. And now, Divine Wrath is something I actually know how to use. I know the AI struggles with it, but I don't. And uh, we're going to kick some butt. Yeah, go ahead, Command Knight. You can beat this guy. He's not even a warrior type. And Blue Eyes burst stream most of their life. A third of their life points. More than a third. My god. That is so sad. So, what do you guys got left? Oh, no. Now I remember why I never dueled these guys. Oh, there's a chance that we'll be okay. It's up to Alexis to not mess up and actually use the right stuff. Double Command Knight's okay. DD Warrior Lady's safer, but Double Command Knight's okay. Yeah, that's fine. It's gonna suck, but it's fine. Just keep it going. Double Command Knight makes up for it. I just hate that they get so many monsters out of this. Oh my god. We're hurting them though, their life points are going down. And there's no tornado wall to worry about, so, you know, there's that. Okay, that's fine. That is fine and dandy. I actually would hope that they use their effect. Yes, because now we can use attack and receive. Alright, do it. Haha! -ha! Any damage we take, you take. No, in this case, it just happened to be the exact amount. I would have hated Mass Dragon, but now I don't have to deal with it. Senju. Well, I still believe they have a TT. So as long as I don't summon anything, we're good. I attack. <laughs> Wait, you were supposed to summon! You were supposed to summon! I'm not Kaiba. I may be running his deck, but I'm not him. I wouldn't make such a freaking foolish mistake. I wouldn't throw Battle City. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I am ready to victory. That's so good. That is so good. Okay, we beat the crap out of those guys. Thank God I started with Giant Trunade. All right, let's see. Living and Beyond, My Color, Pablo. All right, we can fight Pablo. Why not? We're doing pretty good today, so I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a, a rhythm going. We don't need synergy, Alexis. We just need to punch hard. I'll do the blue eyes and you do everything else. Hmm. I don't like the stall portion of this, but we might be able to get past it with some good spells and traps. She got MST. If she sets that, I can get some use out of it. There we go. Thank you. See, there's some value here. Okay, one of those is going to be a problem. We can already tell. I got both my Senjus, which is sad. I wish I had two Monjus. I just don't own any. Yeah. So let's go ahead and let's get our card. I would like to MST. I just don't know when I'm going to need to. All right, Pablo Picasso. Let's see what you got back there. A roulette barrel. That sucks, but, you know, we'll probably be okay. Probably. Bivin's got his Dawn Turtle. Roulette Barrel's gonna try and roll a four. I understand. A six. A two. We're good. And that works, because Dawn Turtle can't uh, kill our monster. So I trust Alexis to find a way to kill that 2k defender and deal with four back row. Princess Surugi would be so good. Oh, well, that sucks. I mean, it's a little bit of damage. It just sucks. Yes, she understood. Oh my god, she's playing well. 
the AI is playing well, and that's exciting. A five? Okay, we're fine. A two? We're fine. No! Warrior Lady! It's still a great burn, though. This is 1,500 burn. We will take... That was better than their magic cylinder. And the roulette barrel's in attack mode. We just need some sort... I need a heavy storm. I don't want to deal with all this. Alright, you know what? Um... No matter what I do, I'm probably going to lose it. So let's just try to summon Dunamis. See what they do. Okay. First card down. Let's see. It's a 50-50 shot. I hit a problem. 50-50, everybody. I'll take it. I Yes! Yes! We did it! Their AI brain messed up due to my chain. We hit TT! Yeah! All right, even though TT might have helped us in the long run, whatever. I activate Premature Burial. And with Premature Burial, I'm going to bring back... Sadly, like, I want to bring back Warrior Lady, but we can't protect it. And I don't have any Earth Warriors in my deck, so we have no value. Like, literally, the only value is if it survives, and I don't know how it's going to survive when we know Biven has got a Tribute Monster in his hand. Oh, wait, I have Magic Cylinder. Maybe it could have survived. Who cares? What matters right now is just seeing what they do have. Watch this, though. See? It wouldn't have survived. Bloodsucker. Mm-hmm. Nah, it's fine. The sad part is I'm probably going to have to Dimension Wall because she does not know how to use that card. Yeah, I know her life points are low and I should use it anyway. But it has to be done. Alright, 13. I have all the good stuff. They And I got rid of their back row, so I just need you to stay alive. Or use a toilet. Yeah, use your toilet with equip spell. And uh, we're good. Use the equip spell. And use the equip spell. And use the equip spell. Okay. Okay. Why even give them equip spells? Oh, dear God. More back row would be horrifying. Wall of Illusion. Horrifying card even in my other Let's Play. Sakuretsu armor, it'll have to do. Okay, no new traps, but I mean, there is still something there. I could swords to protect our life points in case something about this fails. So let's find out if something about this is going to fail. You go first, find out what they got back there. Don't worry about game bounce back, I'll handle it. You go next. We do have a magic cylinder, so that should be enough to protect us. But if they get an MST... You know what? We're going to play it extra safe. Obviously, if they get a Heavy Storm, then that sucks. But if they got an MST and I didn't do it, then I'd feel bad. Gora Turtle, I'm weak enough. We're fine. Gora Turtle can't stop us from attacking. That trap might, though. Princess Surugi's pretty good. You could set that. Another 1,000 burn would be nice. Yep, that's good. That is good. We'll set... Oh, shit. Wait, do you still get the flip effect? Yes! Okay, 500 burn we'll have to do. At least we still get the burn. Funny that Acid Trap Hole was the card, though, because... Oh, no! 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 Look how annoying some of those cards were. Ew, Pablo. I don't like that. Yes! I've been waiting for this moment. I summon Monju! And with Monju, you're not even going to get your flip effect because I'm summoning our ritual monster, which has a really nice effect. Screw the blue eyes summoning part of it. That part doesn't matter. Uh, we are going to get rid of Senju. I don't need it. But we do need you. And with you on the field, no. Nope. Don't even try it. No! Okay, maybe we should have tried it. I didn't realize that was going to happen. I Well, it doesn't matter. How was I supposed to see another bottomless coming? That was the second one. Ah, oh, that's worse than the bottomless. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Well, we have to get through it eventually, so let's let's get through it. God damn it. I hate that she runs Mind on Air, a card she'll, like, never summon. That's super annoying. We need to take... And we need to take her, the both the cards in her hand out of her deck since they're basically bricks. I know Malevolent Nuzzler, sometimes she'll use it, but it's very rare. Pot of Greed, she will use, though. Let's see what we get. Oh, there we go. All of a sudden. Well, you know which one is the weak one. And then the other one will take out the strong, hopefully. 
Yep, good job. Good play with your equip spell. And you played Mind on Air. Look at her. She's stepping up her game. I love it. Oh my god, please. That's the second pot of Avarice. More nimble Momongas, dear god. If only my Paladin wasn't banished. Alright, X head again. That's not going to be good either. Call the Haunted, unless there's something really worth it in there. We have a Magic Cylinder, so we can use this as bait. Okay, what do they have? A 4-star, Cat, and a Twin Head. So we have no clue what they drew. Um, I have Call of the Haunted, so there's no reason not to just play X head. I was thinking of Toily, but she hasn't, doesn't have any fusion materials or anything, so... Who cares? Alright, let's see. And I'm gonna have to... I see. Damn it. I thought since it wasn't Biven, I didn't have to worry about defense, but instead we're gonna lose basically everything. That's my misplay. I should have just went for the biggest monster. But if you had played your card face up, we wouldn't have had to worry. We're not paying the life points. We have plenty of attack points. We have plenty. And we have more on the way, because I could just call it a haunted. Question is, what do we have in the grave that's worth it? I'm gonna wait. We don't have anything at this moment in time that's worth it. Main phase two. We have what we need. We have magic cylinder. Uh, we have scapegoats, so we're fine. Let's see what this guy... Oh, he has the oath! <laughs> Alright, this turtle sucks. So yeah, all he has is the oath. Negate the effect with that control that... Wait. That target this face-up card. Of course. Of course! It's the one turtle that stops magic cylinder. Of course it is. Yep, can't even use it. He top decks the one turtle that stops us. Oh, you can use Call of the Haunted now. I guess Senju's gotta come back. Disgusting that that's what we used it on, but what are we gonna do? I didn't think they'd- I thought they'd just be defensive turtles like Turtle Tiger or something. And then Magic Cylinder could be used on the stronger ones. Speaking of stronger ones, yep. They've been healing for so long. I have all the powerful stuff right now, and they have- Okay, look at this. I have all the 18 beaters. The problem is, even after I destroy this, it's coming back. And then it could be used for a ritual summon. But, they need a lot more for that ritual to matter. Because we know there's a turtle oath in the hand. There is a turtle oath. We have scapegoats for an emergency. We have damage coming in finally, but they're still healing every turn. It's a rough duel. It is a rough duel, I admit. Alexis needs more draw power. Something to get her back into this. Because I'm the only one summoning anything. Gore turtle, okay. We could beat Gora Turtle. Come on, monster card. It, that could, you know, in the long run help. She attacked in the wrong order, so our opponents are going to heal this turn, but I can't stop her from doing that. It's not that big of a deal. It's only 200 heal instead of damage being dealt that turn. But if we lose by, like, 300 damage, I'm going to be mad. I draw Heavy Storm. I could stop them, but at the same time, we, we're the ones that lose out. Where are my three blue eyes? <laughs> Where the hell are they? I need my three blue eyes, please, before they give good defense monsters. Oh, god damn it. I really need my three blue eyes. Attack and receive, yes. At least this way they didn't, you know, heal this turn. Still thinking about Heavy Storm now. Just to stop the healing, but no. Not until I see another trap, because they're going to draw a trap that I'm going to wish I got rid of, so. You know, no reason. Crap. Well, that sucks. Alexis, you want to help do something? That could help. You know what? As long as he didn't draw a tank, there is some th that could help. You know what? He drew Mons Turtle. You're good. Get in there. Almost win us the duel. So we could have won the duel if she attacked in the right order. Right now, we would have had game if she attacked in the right order with X Head and then with the other monster. That sucks. But I pray to God they don't come back. Alright, a new face down. My fear level has gone up. Oh, no it hasn't. No, it has not. Okay, so with this field spell, we basically have game. We basically have game. There's no reason we shouldn't have game. There's like no way in hell. All I gotta do is say I attack. Yes, you heal, but we have so much attack showing that it doesn't matter. So it all worked out in the end, guys. These guys were kind of annoying, but it did work out. So let's get one more nice attack in there. Sorry, Pablo. 
Yep, he didn't like it. <laughs> we win. It's all right. You did your best. Hey, new high score bonus for what? Number of monsters destroyed, total damage dealt. Yep, that would make sense. They healed a ton. All right. We actually made $1,400 already, so our final duel of the day will be against two characters that everyone seems to like. I like Chaz and other people like Bastion, so it's perfect. I'm going to go with scissors. I'm going to get hit in the face. They use the punch button. And they punched me right in the gut because I'm going fourth. Okay. This will be the first hard tag duel of the day. We've had some annoying tag duels. This will be the difficult one. Oh, wow. I already got my ritual. It just won't happen until the fourth turn when all the traps are already set up. Okay, no traps from him, but she's going to... Oh, no, it should work out. Fusion Gate would be nice if he had the stuff. But she don't got the stuff. So he could get Armed Dragon to level 3 right now, but it won't go into anything because of tag duels. Yep. The problem is Bastion can use it. She does have Snatch Steel, though, so if it does get used... Oh, Freed! Hi there. That warrior's a little stronger. Interesting. Well, now I have to kill the arm. I have to kill the arm dragon level three. So if I don't do it, we're in a lot of trouble. I activate Rhoda, and with Rhoda, I'm getting my own freed. Next, I'm going to summon Monju, and we got to just hope that nothing bad happens. And Monju, I'm gonna need your help. Give me that ritual spell. Then I'm going to play Paladin or White Dragon Ritual to play my Paladin. Sorry, Freed. I just needed a level 4 monster. Okay. Now I'm going to... No, not yet. I'm going to activate my field spell to make sure both my monsters are strong enough. We don't need Fusion Gate. Besides, I don't want to see Ojama King. First target has to be the most important one. The Arm Dragon level 3. Then we can deal with the other one. This little bastard here. And then, now that we've done everything, we can go to main phase 2. And we'll just activate our effect and get ourselves a powerful blue eyes white dragon. And, uh, yeah. I think I've set Alexis. Oh, shit. I wanted to set. I thought I was in main phase. I forgot that that was not the end of the battle phase. Whoops. I was going to set my trap, leave the other one in my hand, get rid of his monster, and set her up for perfection. But no. Ah, we... oh, damn it. Oh, it's just Ojama. In fact, we make more money with it dying, so it's fine. It's, it's death matters, even though we probably would have won the duel. No, no, no. We would have won the duel, damn it. If I had used the trap, we would have won. So if we lose this duel, it's my fault. I thought I was like end of battle phase for some reason. Like it's Arm Dragon level 7. Alright, Heavy Storm or Bust. Rhoda. Interesting. I like Rhoda. Oh, all of a sudden you feel like using Magic Jammer. After all of this time. Now, this kind of decides the duel here. Um, Manju? If Blue Eyes attacks, we could lose. So I'm trusting you. Alright. Oh, wait. We could still lose. Oh my god. If they have Magic Cylinder, I'm going to cry. I attack. Okay! Burst Stream of Destruction! If they had Magic Cylinder, that would have been so sad. We win. Don't get cocky. <laughs> All right, guys, we did it. Tag Duel Sunday was a complete success. And because of that, we're going to have so much money. We have made all of the money. 337, my God. Mega Pack Monday is going to go real hard. But that will happen tomorrow. I would like to say thank you, everybody, for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. And please get ready. We are literally about two weeks out from the actual tournament. There are only 15 days until the tournament, which means two in-game weeks. Let's go ahead and check our email. What the hell? Want to duel? I want to duel you at four this afternoon. Come to the beach. Okay. Well, that's something to do tomorrow. I'll see you all then. Please remember to like and subscribe and get ready to duel Zane Truesdale.